So a quick tutorial of how I use my Speedgoat uh, 3.0 waist belt. Um, I'm pretty simple, I like things really simple. So this is the Speedgoat 3.0 waist belt. You've got the front pouch in the front. This is where you put your camera or any other little items. Um, when I go on a train and run, I just stuff a gel or two in here and you know anything else I might need, but really is just about nothing. You can put some lube in here. Um, and of course your phone if you like to bring your phone, which I don't. So anyway, that's uh, pretty simple. The back, you've got 36 ounces of capacity for fluids. So that being said, you can go two and a half to three hours of a run um, with this pack, which is why we made this pack. This is the right size for a good medium to long training run. Um, in the back pouch, super flexible. I put a jacket back here, I stuff it right in there, and you know, takes a second to stuff it in there, zip it up, done. In case it's windy on the ridge, something like that. Um, you know, it's got a jacket. You can even stuff, uh, you could stuff another headlamp in here uh, because of the stretchy material. And on the back of the pack, you've also got these two pouches in the back here. These look like they're really pretty small, but uh, even in a race, you can stuff two to three gels in each one of these, which means you're carrying six, which again goes back to three hours with the right amount of fluids with your gel. You can last for three hours with this pack. And, uh, and even longer, uh, depending on how you strategize around how you carry other things. Uh, but that's pretty simple. Um, we know how it hooks in the front here. You just gotta make sure the hook's all the way down like that. It won't come loose. It pulls in forward to carry uh, or to tighten it for you. And, um, and you're on your way. And basically also the way this thing fits, it's meant to fit on your pelvic crest. So essentially right here, not, not down here, not up here, right on the top of your pelvic crest. So when it sits there and the way the angle of the bottles go, um, shouldn't bounce, you know? And what I also recommend too, is when you're carrying a pack like this, uh, you know, maybe you don't need two full bottles of water, but the idea for here, for this, is to, if you need one bottle of water, fill each one halfway. And that way it balances out the pack and it rides that much better as well. Um, what I do, my own strategy too, is I use a colored bottle for whatever liquid drink I have calories in, and I use a clear bottle for water. Make it simple, because when I become delirious, uh, at least I know what I'm doing. That's the general uh, day pack um, for me up to three hours, uh, and that's how I use it. In the next uh, version, we'll show you how I use the, uh, what I would do in a race that goes overnight. So 